If you thought you had to be born with charisma to have it, then thankfully you were wrong. You can actually learn it. And if you always wanted to learn how to be more charismatic, but didn't even know if it was possible or where to start, then today's video is for you. We're going to dive into a topic that everyone can benefit from, becoming more charismatic. Whether you're looking to improve your social skills, enhance your professional presence in a, in a business setting, or simply charm the people around you, then these five tips will be sure to help you level up your charisma game. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The first thing we are going to talk about in terms of being more charismatic is to be aware of this one thing, that charisma is often associated with outgoing people, but that's actually not the case. Charisma is actually defined as compelling attractiveness or charm that can inspire devotion in others. Being devoted, right? Devotion is love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person or activity, which also creates influence. So people who are charismatic ultimately are attractive, and I'm not talking about your looks. Now, being influential, that's the goal here, right? Charisma, influence. So which, no matter you want to use or have charisma for social or business purposes, charisma is an amazing quality to have. So before I give you the top five tips on how to appear more charismatic, I want to address one thing. Earlier I said that people felt like outgoing people were charismatic, and, and oftentimes they are. But if you feel like you're not outgoing, and therefore have trouble feeling charismatic, then I want you to try one of two things. So try increasing your energy level, either through physical activity, actually get your heart rate going before you go into a social or professional business setting, or try caffeine to help, that will help increase your energy levels. And if that's what works for you, then great. But the goal is the more energy, the more outgoing and effect you will have. Now, another thing, try wearing in a big, bright, vibrant color. Why? Because charisma is associated with confidence. Confidence is associated with vibrance and color and energy. And that is one little hack you can do by literally putting it on yourself. It's also a great conversation starter. So try wearing either a pop of color, something like this would never be for you, then a pop of color, a pocket square, a headband, some jewelry, something that has a big burst of color, which will then be effervescent and kind of penetrate to everyone around you. People love color, it gives them energy. Now, tip number one, confidence. Confidence is key. One of the most important aspects of charisma is having confidence in yourself. Stand tall, which means good posture. Make eye contact, direct eye contact, and speak with conviction. Conviction means you're convincing of whatever you're saying. Remember, it's not about being arrogant ever, but rather having faith in your abilities and being comfortable in your own skin. So own it, wear it, be confident in whatever you're saying or doing. Tip number two. Two, active listening with nonverbal cues. That's the key. So charismatic individuals are not only great speakers, but they're also exceptional listeners. So I want you to practice active listening by giving your full attention to the person you're talking to. Maintain good eye contact, nod, respond genuinely to their comments. When I was talking about nonverbal cues, Ah, oh, like that when someone's talking. And this shows you that you value their input. It creates a deeper connection. So one major charisma hack, open your eyes wide to show interest, which also mimics charisma through energy. So for example, when I was talking about those nonverbal cues, when someone else is talking, my eyes stay locked with theirs. When I'm talking, I might you know look away to have a thought, but when someone else is talking, my eyes stay locked to theirs. I am a good active listener. I'm deeply listening to what they're saying, and I'm giving wide eyes, which show, ah, oh, you know, I'm attracted to what you're saying. I'm engaged with what you're saying. Wide eyes, easy, one easy, easy hack to mimic confidence and charisma. And so I'm not saying anything, but I'm nodding. So I'm giving those nonverbal head cues. I'm changing my posture a little bit. I'm using my hands. 
I'm, I'm giving facial recognition that I'm understanding. I'm with that person. I'm getting them. I'm vibing with them. People like to communicate with people that they vibe with, that understand them. And, and, and that makes them feel likable, right? So then it turns back onto the person that is giving those nonverbal social cues. So remember that. Actively listen. If someone says, you know, I, I just got back from this amazing trip and, you know, to Alaska. Alaska. I've never been to Alaska. How, what was that like? So asking questions based upon what they just said, really be really in tune to that person. That's another trick for good charisma. Let's move on to point three. Tip number three, develop a positive mindset. A positive attitude is infectious. It's magnetic. Cultivate optimism. Focus on the good in every situation. You can always find good in every situation. And approach challenges with enthusiasm. Your positive energy will really naturally draw people towards you and make those interactions with other people more enjoyable uh, for everyone involved. So I want you to use positive words like, oh, that's fantastic. Give them that along with your nonverbal cues that we just talked about. And when someone asks you, you know, how you are, always say something positive. Even if you're having a bad day, don't bring that up. Say, you know what? I had the best coffee this morning that got me off to the start. It was a little bit of a touch and go morning, but I'm back and I'm ready. I'm so happy to be here with you. How are you? Switch on to them if you don't want to talk about yourself, but don't be negative. You have to always have good positive vibes and charisma, charismatic people are positive people. Tip number four, master the art of storytelling. Charismatic individuals are skilled at captivating their audience with engaging stories. So practice crafting narratives that are relatable, humorous, uh, or really just thought provoking. So use vivid details, gestures. You can see I constantly talk with my hands. Uh, vocal variety, give, give, you know, go up with your sentences and down to tell a story. Bring your stories to life. Uh, paint a picture, give examples. And remember, a well-told story can leave a lasting impression. But storytelling and, and individuals that get up on stage or stand up in a business meeting or in a social group are saying, and then we walked over to the boat and it was beautiful and it had these gorgeous big sails and the sun was shining. It was the most fantastic day. Positive, radiating, big energy. And that's the key to good storytelling. Tip number five, embrace empathy. Charisma really stems from the ability to connect with other people on an emotional level. So, so really, genuine interest in other people's lives is the key. Asking thoughtful questions, demonstrating empathy towards their experiences. By understanding and relating to other people, you'll be able to build a deeper connection and create a positive impact. So I really want you to think about that. And uh, you know, if somebody says something negative is going on in their life, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's that must be really hard for you. And I can only imagine what that's been like. So giving them that, uh, but still giving those nonverbal cues, right? So that's that's a big big part of of charisma is connecting with other people. In my first book, Modern Etiquette Made Easy. That's something we talk a lot about is being likable and charisma and how to be more charismatic. And it really does make a difference. And there you have it, five powerful tips and a few hacks too on how to boost your charisma. Remember, becoming more charismatic is a journey. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't instantly try these things today and, and you feel like a different person. It takes practice. So practice these tips regularly and you'll notice a significant difference in your interactions and your relationships. And people will probably start noticing too. Now, next week I'm teaching you a highly requested topic. Public speaking secrets, which you can use at socially at a wedding or at work in front of your team and how to give the perfect speech. So if you found this video helpful, thank you so much in advance for giving that thumbs up right there and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And for more valuable content, I will keep creating it coming your way. And as always, please leave comments down below, share your experiences, anything other, other tips that you use or have that help you feel more charismatic, share them with your friends down there. Uh, and I hope these tips help you and I don't um, doubt for a moment you cannot master this yourself. So keep trying and I will look forward to seeing you next time.